Uh, you said in a conversation with Joe Rogan that you would choose to, you would choose not, I guess, choose not to be gay if you could, and that everyone should. Can you expand on why this is and answer whether or not you think others can choose their orientation? Um, well, there's obvi so the gay lobby started a big lie in the 80s. Now, the, the religious right was saying that homosexuality was a, uh, a sinful lifestyle choice. It was an immoral way to behave, an immoral set of decisions that you were making. It was based on Christian doctrine that, you know, you hate the sin, not the sinner, right? So you can love this person, but what they do is not making God happy. So Christians would say homosexuality is a sinful lifestyle choice. Um, the gay lobby were kind of stumped by this because, of course, according to Christians' own set of values, yeah, it is. Uh, there's not, much, no, no, not no way you can go from that, really. So what they did is they kind of came up with this gay gene thing. It's like, ah, wait a minute. What if we're like black people? What if we were born this way and we've got no, and we've got no way to change it? That would make everybody who doesn't like us into the most massive bigots. Let's go with that. So they invented Born This Way, which is now a cultural trope, uh, even in, you know, a couple of years ago in Lady Gaga's songs. But it's a lie. It's not true. The science suggests that it's a mixture of nature and nurture. Steven Pinker thinks it's mostly nurture. Um, in, in my own experience, it's certainly mostly nurture. Um, I think when I said on the show, if I could choose to be, not to be gay, I probably would, um, I meant it because it's much more, it's more difficult being homosexual. I mean, I get a lot of mileage out of it, um, but I'd quite like to have kids, and I'm not sure that I want to bring kids up in a gay household because so much of sexual orientation is nurture. I don't want to be responsible for, you know, um, for him or her not having the best possible easiest life. I mean, if we could choose, we would all have our children, you know, heterosexual, if only to give them a happier, better chance in life, a better start, to spare them pain. Um, for myself, I, like I said, I'm kind of stuck in the rut now. <laughs> I, I try it once a year just to make sure that I still don't like it. Um, <laughs> I, I find a willing volunteer and, and it's never much fun. I get bored after 10 minutes. So, I'm like, mm, no. um, so yeah, no, I, 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 I probably would have changed it. If I could take a pill and change it overnight, Maybe, probably not now, because it would be professionally disastrous. I have to wait a few years. Um, <laughs> uh, I, you know, what I do want to do though. I do want to do that um, pray the gay away therapy just to see if it works. Because people, cause, no, because lots of people say it works, and lots of people say it doesn't work. And people who say it doesn't work are always bigoted, hateful, religious, you know, nonsense. But there are just as many people who you will never hear about because the media doesn't want to report on them who say, yeah. Transform my life. I've got a wife and I've got kids and I'm happy now and I wasn't before. Um, there are all kinds of explanations that you know the left will come up with us, you know, well you've just internalized bigotry or whatever. But um, I quite like to